Hi students, this is President Docking coming to you from Adrian College. And I just wanted to say first, I hope you're having a great holiday with your family and enjoying it this time off. Secondly, as I promised, before you went home for break, we wanted to send you a video of things that we would want you to do before you return to campus for a safe return back to Adrian. So I've asked Dr. Emily Kiss to give that to you right now. Hello, as President Docking said, we've been working very hard on a safe return plan for the spring semester. I will be going over the main points of this plan, but please be sure to check your email uh, because a comprehensive, very detailed document about this plan will be going out campus-wide very soon. For our safe return plan, all students must receive a test no more than five days before returning to campus. In order to attend face-to-face -face classes, students must receive a COVID-19 test. In order to participate in practices, workouts, and competitions, student athletes must receive a COVID-19 test before returning to campus. If you receive a negative test, you can move back onto campus on your designated move-in date. If you have a positive test, please stay home and self-isolate per CDC guidelines before returning to campus. If you have a pending result and your move-in date is around the corner, please still stay home until a negative test result is received. We will accept rapid and PCR tests. Results of your tests are to be uploaded into Magnus under the COVID-19 testing form tab, just as it was done during the fall semester. All of the results will be verified by AC medical staff before you can start face-to-face -face classes. Here's where you will upload your COVID-19 testing form into Magnus. You will see under the answer portion that you will have an option to upload your document. There are a few exemptions to this testing protocol, one of them being if you are positive for COVID-19 in the last 90 days. This means that in the last 90 days, you were actively infected with the COVID-19 virus and had a documented positive result. All of the positive results must also be uploaded into Magnus in the same way. Another exemption is that you will not be physically present on campus or you are approved for exemption by the director of the Student Health Center and college medical director. Please remember that we at the Student Health Center are here to help. So as always, reach out to us if you have any questions. We look forward to having you back on campus. So there you have it, students, from Dr. Kist. You know, we had such a great fall, and I'm convinced that if we stick to the plan, we can have as normal a spring as possible with face-to-face -face instruction, playing on our athletic teams, even keeping Ritchie Dining Hall open for all of you. So please, refer back to the video if you're not sure what you need to do on your end, but let's keep each other safe and have a great spring semester.